GTAKs. So here we have the characters in the world. This is Stranger. Is, these are townsfolk walking around, but Stranger, uh, he's got a game speak. So we've reduced game speak to one button. And if you press that one button and you're alone, it'll give you what your short-term goals are. Need to find that bounty store. But if you talk to other characters in the world. Pardon. You tell me where the bounty store is? Now, now what do I look like to you? An information kiosk? Get out of here. They're not always cooperative, but they'll always have something to say. Hey, I need to find a bounty store. Yeah, what the hell? Come on, what's your problem? Stop that <laughs> so we wanted a world that reacts if you start messing with it, you know? And you can push that further and further and further, and uh, I'll show you that in a minute and show you how it begins to escalate. Here's the uh, bounty store. The stranger going into the bounty store, you talk to the bounty store clerk and it'll bring up a, a selection of options for, stranger, you for what your potential missions are. And you'll notice on the, on the bounty sc screen, at the beginning of the game, we only give you a, a couple that are fairly linear to teach you how to and introduce you to live ammo. But you'll notice that there's two different values, and a, a value for bringing them back alive and a, a value for bringing them back dead. And alive is more money, so if you want to make more money, bring them back to alive. So now if I come out and I talk to myself. Yeah, I gotta find the North Gate. Get us up to Filthy Ann's Floyd. It's like an automated voice log system. It's a, it, anytime you're in doubt, it'll kind of remind you what your mission was. And then if you talk to characters from here. You know where Filthy Hands Floyd might be hiding? Ah, oh, lots of places for a guy like that to hide around dead ends past. So you can talk to different characters and start to get more clues on where you might find, you know, who you're looking for. Let's go now to some of the core play. The stranger doesn't have a gun, and in fact, part of his character trait is he doesn't like guns. So he uses a bow, and the bow is a wrist-mounted bow that transforms into a double-barrel bow. And here's the double-barrel bow. When we say live ammo, we don't mean bullets or bombs or, or arrows. We mean living critters. And so this, uh, this right here is a surge bug. And that's our base weapon. You could think of it like your pistol. It has infinite ammo. The faster I pull the trigger... The more it goes to rapid fire, I can hold the trigger and charge for an electrical upgraded shot that's more powerful. 
But what I'm going to use that for is start to hunt other critters in the world. And when I see little critters running around like this, these are chip punks, and they'll start to run away from me. And I knock them out, I zap them, stun them, and then they become my ammo supply. And each of these starts to have a different effect on the uh, enemies, and I'll show you that in a second. Some of them will be flying. These are thud slugs I can pick up. Some you'll find crawling around. There's some uh, spiders over here. Each of these has different purposes. I'll show you what that is in a minute. The chip punk, we call them that because they talk a lot of and that aggravates the enemies and that draws them out. So this is really useful in terms of drawing and positioning enemies and setting them up to bait them where you want them to be. If they're alarmed, if they think something's up, they're not going to fall for the chip punk. But if they're calm and they don't, they're not suspecting anything, they will. The other uh, live ammo type that's really useful is a spider bola. And what that does is it wraps a guy up with, for a silent takedown. So if I use the chip punk and bait a guy out, I know this guy around the corner here, I'll bait him over. Okay, I want to pull him a little farther away so no one sees him. And now with my spider, bound and gagged, suck him up in a bounty can, a live takedown, I get twice the value for him. And then I'd head back to town and collect my reward. But on my way back to town, the, um, the environment will be the same, but the condition of it will change. So we really wanted that feeling that this, the place is changing. And we don't keep you in any one particular town for too long, but it becomes a hub to various uh, bounty missions, and then you move on to the next stage.